Hello guys, in the previous video we tested SQLized models using basic routing. In this video we will look at how to do a more robust routing in Node.js API project that is appropriate for the real-world application. We will also take a look at controller and resource patterns. Let's get started by cloning Node API starter repository. And let's open it in VS Code. Let's go ahead and install the dependencies with yarn install. And let's also create an env file. Let's go ahead and put the credentials in the env file. This env configuration will be the same as in the previous video. Let's go ahead and take a look at this starter template. It contains test configuration for testing with Jest. It also has a database connection, tour and travel models. Also, we have a custom error handler, middleware, as well as other middlewares, such as Morgan, Cores, Express URL Encoded, and JSON Body uh, parsers. Let's start by creating an open API file to describe the list travels route we will be implementing. So we're going to be creating a new file in the root of our project, and we'll call it open-api.yml. YAML. And I already created a video on how to create OpenAPI YAML definitions file. So in this video, I'll just paste the code. And let's go ahead and save this definition file. And it contains one route to list the travels. I also have Visual Code OpenAPI extension installed by 42Crunch. And this extension not only links and enforces schema, but also lets me preview the documents. So we can preview the document by clicking right here on this icon. And as you can see, right here we have a preview of the route and this is just a simple get route but since it gets a travels resource we can call it a list travels and here we described what we're going to return back to the user it will be id name of the travel description slug and the number of days we also described what kind of error we are going to return to the user and in the schema we have right here travel where we list id name slug and number of days as required and description optional as well as we also describing the default error that it's going to have error property and then this error property will be also an object that has a message that will be required and then the code that will be optional let's go ahead and implement list travels route so in the src folder let's go ahead and create a new folder called routes in the routes folder, we're going to create another folder called v1. In the v1 folder, we're going to create another folder called travels. Also in the v1 folder, we're going to create file called index.ts. In the index.ts of v1 folder, we will define v1 prefix. So we're going to go and import express and router from express. We will import index file from travels folder, which we create later. And we're going to create constant v1, which will be a router of the express router. And v1, we're going to use the travels folder, right, for the route travels. And we're going to export default v1. Now in travels folder, let's create index.ts file. Controller.ts file. And also travel resource.ts file. And this is the pattern that we're going to be using for the routes, right? We're going to have index file that will handle the route. Then we'll have a controller that will handle the logic for the route. And then the resource class, it will remap the fields that SQLize class returns to us in the resource that we're going to be returning to the user. Let's get started with index.ts file. In the index.ts file in the travels folder, we can import express and router. And we also import list travels from the controller, and we will create this method or function later. So now we're going to do const travels. That will be router express router, and we'll uh, have travels get right. And we use the list travels function to handle the logic, the controller logic for this route. And then we're going to export travels. Now let's go ahead and implement code in the controller.ts. Okay, let's go ahead and import the following next function request and response from express those are the types we're going to import travel from models travel and we're going to import travel resource that we will create later so for now travel controller 
or travels controller will consist of one function that will have a simple code. This function will take in request, response, and next functions. We're gonna have a try catch statement where we will use model to find all travels and we'll use collection method from travel resource class to map the data provided by travel model into the resource that we're gonna be returning to user. And then we're gonna be sending a response with a status 200 and JSON. We're also gonna catch error, if any, and then we're gonna pass the error to our custom error handler. Finally, let's go ahead and create code in travel resource.cs file. In the travel resource, we're gonna import travel from the database models, right? And we're gonna type the travel entity that we're gonna be returning to the user, ID, name, description, slug, and number of days. So now we're gonna create class called travel resource, and there will be a private method called instance, will be a type of travel, and then in constructor, we're gonna pass the travel, and this travel can be either instance of SQLize model travel or null, because when we request a travel, single travel from the database, it can either return us a travel or it can return null if the model is not found. So let's take make a condition. If travel is not found, we're gonna throw a new error, entity not found. And then if travel is found, we will assign it to the instance property. So now let's create a method. It's going to be called item and it's going to have the travel entity and it's going to basically map all the fields that travel model returns to us into the resource that we're going to be returning to the user. The next method will be a static collection method. It will take travels as an array of travel. We're going to map the travels and we're going to instantiate travel resource with an instance of travel and we're going to be returning the travel resource that item method that we created and now let's export travel resource let's go back to controller.ts file and now you can see that we're calling a static collection method on the travel resource class and we're passing it travel find all that will return travels from the database a static method on the travel resource maps those travels and then we return the travels to the user well, let's go ahead and test the code we can just run er dev our server is running and now we're going to go to open api yaml file we're going to click on the preview let's go ahead and make this window bigger and now we can use this open api document to test the route so we're going to go open it out and click on a try out button and we can click execute and after executing, we can see that we have an error that we want, want travels is not found. So let's go ahead and update the server.ts file because we never imported our routes in the server.ts file. That's why we're getting this error. In server.ts file, let's import v1 from the routes. And then right after testing routes here, we can put app use v1. Also, we can delete this message name test route. We don't need it anymore. Let's save server.ts file, make sure API is still running, and let's go ahead and open open API file preview again. Let's go ahead and try it out again and click execute. And now we can see that we're getting the response. All right, so we had four travels in our database. They're returned as an array, and we're returning exactly the properties that we specified in the open API documentation. So you can see we're not returning created at or updated at properties. Now let's go ahead and make sure our code also works when there is no data in the table. I will go into my SQL workbench and delete all the entries from travels table. Okay, I deleted the entries in the travels table. Let's go ahead and click execute again. And we can see that we're now getting an empty array back because we don't have any entries in the table and since it's a list travels endpoint we just return an empty array because no records in the travels table is a valid response this is how you create routes with controller and resource pattern in node.js api project i hope you like this video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video